Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome back to The Long Dark, Iron Woman of Timberwolf Mountain, episode number 29. So, it is time to get these bear pelts cured. And there has been a big uh, uh, announcement as far as the uh, story mode and, and the progression of The Long Dark. This is April 4th when I'm actually recording this. There's a new teaser out. And uh, basically, man, one of the things I noticed was... Uh, the uh, they they showed a lot of the development from the original um, build to where they're at now, and it's just amazing to see how far Hinterland has really taken the game. So, hats off to them, good job, and uh, just want to say that the uh, the Aurora looks amazing, and the freaking power lines on fire was incredible. So there's some uh, really neat. Uh, oh, and the 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 having the first person perspective like the arms and and uh things like that uh, uh and then switching over to third person uh it just looks really nice so i'm really excited to see story mode come out but again uh, i read uh raf's um uh little uh, uh well not really little but uh, lengthy um update blog that he had and i completely agree with him um as far as don't don't rush it you know if there's things that you want to implement that will make the game better by all means uh, take your time um, knowing the community uh, just you know the fact that you pushed out such great oh he's going after something is he going after a rabbit oh no he's going after that deer um, the fact that you pushed out so many great updates and uh, that always like almost just refreshed the game and uh uh, made it play, uh, made made starting the game up and playing it again almost as as fun as the first time playing it. Um, you know that's that's what has uh, energized and kept us energized. And uh, um, you know it wasn't like you were just uh, pushing out new skins or pushing out a new rifle or something like that, which is what Daisy sort of fell into the trap of. Was they weren't making the actual um, substantial. Uh, uh, changes to the game. They weren't making any substantial improvements. They were just sort of rehashing old things and just sort of add or adding a variety of already existing items. And, um, and uh, I, it was, it was sort of a joke, you know, it's just, a, oh, we got a new, new skin for a gun or a new skin for a piece of clothing. Well, Hinterland didn't do that. They actually added completely new and, and game changing, uh, updates. So that's, what's, uh, really been keeping us going here. I'm going to go ahead and do some sleep cycling here so i'll probably bid you adieu while i uh rest and, and try to get these uh healed up or uh, i should say um not healed up what am i talking about um cured up as fast as possible and uh yeah no point in you guys sitting around and watching me just uh, sleep and drink and eat and sleep and drink and eat so but that's what i want to do here for the next uh, little while so see you on the other side All right, everybody. Well, it looks like we got some food poisoning, so we had to take the uh, last of our antibiotics. Um, I'm not sure if we have any stored here or not. I'm going to have to check. So if not, we're going to have to make a trip up to the cave to get more, or we're going to have to find some of the, uh, uh, what is it, the, the mushrooms or whatever to make some of the tea. Uh, but in the meantime, we, we're going to need to rest. That's the next thing. So we've already taken the pills. Uh, we need to rest for 10 hours, so we're going to do that real quick here. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, we're full and and uh, have plenty of plenty of hydration, so let's go ahead and do this. It was bound to happen. Eating 50% meat eventually will, or 45 to 50% meat will eventually catch up with you. So, it's about 37 days. All right, still a little bit thirsty there. Let's go ahead and get a drink here. Just another two hours to go. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's just rest for a full eight, and then we should be back up to 100%. No problem. Here we go. And we'll do a little check here. See where what our antibiotic situation is. I would imagine it'd be down here if we had them anywhere. Yes, we got plenty of them. So. No worries there. All right. So we'll just transfer a few over there. There we go. Three doses. Should be good. Uh, I took some of this bear meat here. Oh, just disappeared. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> I took some of that phantom bear meat and uh, 
put it in here so it would last a little bit longer. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grill it up here real quick before we lose it. Oh, it's going to be... won't be very long at all. Actually, we'll get a 50% out of it. A bonus to it, so we'll do that right now so we won't lose it. That should be plenty for... Well, maybe one more. All right, let's get this fire. Let's get this fire started here. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Hopefully, we can cook this meat before it disappears from our inventory. At three percent, I don't know. I don't know how uh, how many percentage points you lose per hour when it's uh, not stored in a container. Container does help a little bit. If you have it in a container, it degrades a little bit slower than if you just leave it on the ground, which is why I put them in the container. But I couldn't fit them all in there. That's why I had a couple on the floor. So, all right. Look, nope. Still three percent. That's good. Let's cook this all up here. We'll add some more f uh, fuel to the fire. Uh, oh, two percent. Okay. Let's add uh, fir wood. There we go. That should be enough to cook up the rest of this. Yeah, I think we'll get this little piece and then the next piece, and we should do it there. Uh, maybe have one more piece left here. I thought I only grabbed three, but maybe I grabbed four. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah, I guess I did grab four. Yeah. Food's not super critical for us right now, but... It's always good to... Well, we got another hour left. We might as well cook up some of this here. There we go. I think we're going to need to add a couple sticks. I am a little thirsty, so... There we go. Not too worried about the thirst at the moment because I'm going to be sleeping a lot and uh, have plenty of water, so if I go down to 95% health, I'm going to recover that the next time I go back to sleep. So I'm not too concerned about it. I think we'll be down to embers, probably. Yeah, so okay. Let's, uh, let's add some sticks here. Let's add some sticks. And that should be enough. That last, last really sketchy piece of bear meat. I'll probably get food poisoning again from this batch of eight or nine steaks that I just grilled up. Okay, so we're completely dehydrated. Uh, we're going to need more water than that. There we go. Health probably right around 95%, something like that. No, it's 99%. Much better than I expected. Alright, so as you can see, we got a bunch. Well, this is going to be a little sketchy, but this is the one that actually got me sick before, so. <laughs> kind of thinking if half of that made me sick, I probably shouldn't eat the other half, but here it goes. We'll see what happens. Wait for it. <laughs> so far, it's safe. You know your body just would not let you do that, do that in real life. You'd be so repulsed by that piece of meat. Oh, I'd use it to attract a wolf just to uh, get some wolf meat for variety. All right, let's throw this these steaks back in here for now, so that they're not degrading quickly in my backpack. Yeah, we'll leave we'll leave these. Well, those are partials, aren't they? Yeah, we'll just leave we'll leave those in there for now. Let's see how are we doing here. I'll take this one and I'll take that one. That's gonna be that's gonna be supper. Okay. So there we go. A full and a, we're good to go. Seven hours of daylight left. We're plenty warm. Full and and, and uh, plenty of, of uh, hydration. Let's go to rest for eight. Recover that one condition point. I'll see you guys on the other side of this uh, series of sleep cycling here. Oh, hold on. I should show you guys before I head out here today. 44% cured, so we're making progress. It's uh, day 38, so we're, we're making some pretty good progress. See you guys on the other side. Alright, everybody. So, anyway, I got the last three bottles of water in my inventory here. Um, got a little food situation here going on with the steaks. So, we got these down to 6%, these down to 7%. So I'm going to cook these, so that's going to be 20, 20, 20. That's an hour. Another 20. That's another, like, 2 hours. That's uh, 2 hours, 20 minutes. 40. So that's 3 hours. 4 hours. Eh, about 4 hours and 20 minutes of cooking that I need to do here. 
So I'm just going to load up on these steaks. Plus, I need to cook up some water. So we're just going to... We are just going to uh, grab a little bit of the, the firewood here. Yeah, just random bits. Really doesn't matter at this point. All right, so let's get this fire started. Get this, uh, get these steaks cooked up. Get some water going. I'd like to have about another. I'd probably want to have another five gallons of water going here. Our uh, Our bear hide is, uh, I think, probably about 65, 68% cured. Double check. Nope, 72. Okay, even better. So let's add a few more of these. And there we go, about five hours. That should be plenty of time to cook all these steaks. So let's get to it here. And that way we just don't lose them. Probably won't be able to eat all these anyway, but it's better to at least have them ready to go rather than just lose them in the raw state like that. Give, just give them a little extra life. So yeah, anyway, the uh, put you know having the updates and pushing back the, uh, the story mode. Like I was talking about earlier, that's that's completely forgivable when you push out epic updates like Kinderland has been, where they they completely refresh the game almost every time they do a major update. So there's like some serious. It completely makes you rethink the way you play the game, which is uh, nice. It's nice to have those realistic survival curveballs that add to the game, and uh, nobody minds. I mean, store, the sandbox honestly got way more than I've. I mean, if they never even had a story mode, sandbox mode was uh, worth every penny of, uh, of my uh, Kickstarter donation. And, uh, you know, I just look at it like story mode is going to be a bonus, and it's going to be a huge bonus. I mean, it's just like... So, I just, yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think there's no issues at all as far as uh, pushing it back and... Continuing to give story mode uh, update progress reports and stuff like that, I think is a really good thing. Keeps people excited, and uh, especially when they keep showing these the videos that they have been. The last couple story mode videos have just been incredible. So they're hard at work. I guess they have like 20 full-time employees now. So yeah, that's a lot of pancakes. All right, definitely a uh, definitely grown quite a bit from their humble beginnings, so I'm pretty proud of them for that. Alright, um, let's take a look at our bear meat here. All got 50% bonuses. I'm going to go ahead and eat this one. Am I that hungry? Let me check. How hungry am I? Yeah, I can eat that. I can eat that whole steak. No problem. Let's get that one out of there. Alright, good. Let's throw these back in here. Oh, yeah, let's throw those back in here real quick. I guess it really doesn't matter, but keep those three on me. Let's get to boiling up some water here. I'm going to add some more wood here. We're going to have to go out and get some more wood here eventually. But, uh, I think we're going to definitely have enough to boil up a lot of our water. Let's go ahead and get a drink. We're a little parched at the moment. Hey, how do I still have all these steaks? I must have missed a few. Alright, they must have been wolf or something like that here. Let me throw those in here real quick. I'm just being picky. Yeah, they're not. They must be down here. Yeah, they are. Okay. Let's throw those in there. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, let's get to boiling some water. The exciting. This is really, uh, you know, if you wanted to go out and run around and see me run around outside, this probably wasn't the episode for you. This is definitely a homesteader type of uh, episode. Let's do another. 1.3. Ideally, I'd like to do that like four times. Don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll give it a shot. And we'll boil what we have here just to play it safe. We're going to have to uh, add a little bit more fuel to the fire. Alright. 
Yeah, let's just boil what we got. I think we can do that. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Got a, oh, five gallons almost. <laughs> well, we'll just uh, boil up a little bit more here while we're while we're sitting next to the fire. We got a couple more uh, woods there. We got some sticks here. We got some coal. So we got we're good. Plus we're carrying two coal. We're we're in really good shape. Plus we got two fire fir woods on us. Definitely in, in good shape. So let's see if we can get another 1.3 gallons. I hope we can. We might add some sticks here. Let's do that. Let's just add some sticks. Alright. Add those sticks. Where are you at? There we go. And let's boil up half of that. I'm not sure how... We should be able to boil up to 1.3 gallons. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was overkill with the sticks. Definitely. But we have plenty of water now. Plenty of food, plenty of water. We're in good shape. Alright, well, no point in wasting it. Let's, let's try to get up just a little bit more here. And I'll probably add one more. Let's add another stick or two. Just to get that last little bit boiled up. Oh, how did I have that much? Oh, whoa, I got way more than I expected. Oh, no, that's melting. Hold on. Wrong one. There we go. Should be about perfect. We should uh, finish it off on embers. There we go. Perfect. I think we got, I don't think we have any, oh, we do have a little bit of, we didn't get it, <laughs> we tried, we got funky water, all right, let's put the, uh, let's put the funky water right here at our feet, so we don't get confused by it, oh, wait a minute, where are we at, okay, We're carrying around a lot of weight, we are very heavy right now, let's drop the funky water here, oh, I thought I definitely had it, I got too cute with it, yeah, look at that, 47 pounds of water, <laughs> It's a bit much. All right, let's just drop it all here. Almost all of it. We'll drop it all and then grab what we need. There we go. That feels better. Yeah, we'll just grab a couple bottles for now. Okay, we're over or we're enc encumbered again. Try not to be redundant. All right, so let's chat out. All right, get our drink check on our uh now, you know what actually while we were doing all that these were curing so let's see how we're doing here off oh, 78 percent cured all right the other one's already cured and um yeah let's get back to sleep cycle and see you on the other side as usual and we're tired this time well all right all right everybody well we're at 98 percent cured so a little bit longer and we'll be able to start building this uh or crafting this uh bear bedroll so, uh, let's get ourselves a drink. Let's not screw, screw it up now by dying of dehydration in our sleep. So, let's do that. We're, uh, everything's looking good. 51 degrees. So, let's just go for another 8 here. Nah, eh, probably don't even need to go that long. Let's try 4, see what happens. Been hearing some footsteps the last couple sleep cycles. Maybe, I'm just, maybe it's like cabin fever or something. I don't know starting to hallucinate. Um, let's see here. 63 degrees. Alright, let's check it. Oh, 99% gear. Right, so we need to do another little bit here. We're getting so close. Be uh, starting to craft this thing in the middle of the night. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Yeah, it's going to leave us a little bit, isn't it? I don't want to leave any. Alright, I think we're ready to go. 
Let's, oh, it's still 99% cured. It's gotta be, man, it's gotta be right on the cusp of being ready. All right, let's go and drink. And let's go ahead and rest for like two hours. There we go. Hopefully it's a clear night. Nope, it's a little dark. So we got two of them cured black bear hides. So let's pick them up. All right, got both of those. We're well rested. No afflictions. 45 days, eight hours, four minutes. That's how long we've survived here. Only on uh, um, Timberwolf Mountain. Um, I was going to eat that. Should be able to eat it in, in its entirety there. Have a little drink. Everything's looking copacetic. And uh, let's see here. Need, uh, I need a cloth and I need some cured guts, so we need to find those real quick. Know where the guts are? One, two, three, four, five. I think it was just five. Uh, no, they didn't introduce house cats into the game. That's my house cat deciding to uh, get a little froggy there. Where did I put the uh, cloth? It's around here somewhere. I might have to wait till daytime to find it. I have it around here somewhere. Where, where did I put it? Uh, yeah, I can't. Oh, wait, maybe it's in here. I think it's in here. Yeah, no, there's only one piece in there. Am I carrying that many? Hold on, I can't be carrying that many. Right? Just, yeah, that's, that's only two pieces there. There's more around here somewhere. Let's just sleep through the night. Start this all. All uh, in, the, in the morning here. Let's see, 58 degrees, no worry about hypothermia. Kind of worried about them footsteps that never seem to go away. They should have died of exposure by now. So it makes me think whatever, whatever owns those footsteps is immortal, which is a bit terrifying. Also, um, three hours of darkness left. It's been sleep for four then. Then I'll find my cloth. It's around here somewhere. I got stuff just stacked everywhere. Can't find it in the dark. I don't feel like lighting a torch either. There it is. Okay. Alright, I think that's enough probably. Let's see how much we needed. I didn't even make note of how many. Uh, we need one more guts, really? Okay, one more gut. I overshot the cloth by one. Let's get started on this. It's gonna take 17 hours. Um, how are we doing? Let's get a drink. go. Let's try to ski in. There it is. Alright, let's do this. I've never built one. Of, oh, shoot. I never built one of these and I'm doing it a half hour at a time, apparently. Let's try this again. Uh, hunting knife? Is that what I need? Oh, how's my hunting knife doing? Let's check on that. I don't want it to break on me. Oh, it's in pretty good shape, so we're pretty safe. Alright, let's get started here. Uh, let's do let's do five hours. Let's see where we're at after five hours here. How are we dealing with our thirst and hunger? All right, we're hungry and we're thirsty. Let's grab a few more bottles. Let's grab a couple more steaks. Ooh, sketchy steaks. Yeah, we'll take that one. That's the sketchiest of them all. All right, let's go and eat and drink and uh, craft into the night here. Ah, that was a partial. I really shouldn't have done that. It means I just get to roll twice for food poisoning on that. Oh, I saw that. I saw that drip down there. I thought, oh no, I got food poisoning. No, it's just thirst. All right, so we should be all good here, 100% condition, looks good. And we're still in, yeah, we're not really that fatigued, so apparently this isn't really taking that much out of us. All right, let's do another five hours, what do you say? 
Think that sounds good? I think it sounds good. What? Oh, that's a wolfskin coat. Never mind. <laughs> Let's try this again. There we go. Let's do this. Wow, then we'll only have another two hours to go after this. We can go lay out under the stars. And yeah, it'll be nice. Alright, I don't even know what the achievement is. I, I know you have to be wrapped in all furs. I don't know how long you have to sleep, though. If it's like through the entire night, or if it's just like an hour, you know, and you get the achievement. Regardless, when I get it, it'll appear on the screen for you. Through the magic of editing. Um, I wish it would sort of tell you in the game when you achieve the... But I guess that kind of break the immersion factor, so... Alright, let's see how we're doing here. We're a little thirsty. Let's take care of that issue. How are we doing? Can I eat anything? I would like to eat if I can. I think I can eat that partial. Where's that at? Right there? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Let's get that out of the way. Another drink. There we go. A little bit winded. No big deal. Should be able to finish this off. No problem. And, wow. This is going to be a, quite the achievement. I've always wanted one of these. And, oh, I still have to do seven hours? Yeah. So that's, okay, let's do it. Let's do five hours. Well, I thought I just did it. A bunch of it, but apparently not. I don't know. Two hours remaining. Did I start something else or something? Is that what happened? Huh. I thought maybe I'd started a different project. Huh. Okay. been a long day for me. I've been uh, going, what am I, I think I'm on like my 19th hour straight being up. So I've been up for about 19, 20 hours, something like that. So please forgive me. I still hear the footsteps. Whew. That would be creepy. That would be super creepy. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Okay. Good call. All right, let's try doing this. Let's try finishing it off. Two hours. Good. Do it, Doug. All right, so we got it. Crafted bearskin bedroll. All right. This is a first. Quite the achievement here. And we're tired, so perfect. We're going to go out and sleep in it. And let's go ahead and... Can we, oh, we just heard barking. That's nature's way of saying that plan was a bad one. Belay that idea. Alright, let's drink a little bit more here. We're only uh, encumbered because of our fatigue. That's the only reason why. Let's uh, let's just step outside here. We'll, we'll sleep on the porch if we have to. Uh, yeah, alright. What is it? 29 degrees outside? That's not really not too bad. So, um, Can I choose which bedroll I want to use? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay. Let's sleep in that right there. Let's take a look at the stats. A 21.6 degree warmth bonus? Are you kidding me? <laughs> cabins. We don't need no stinking cabins. <laughs> wow. So, anyway, I'm going to be... Uh, my, my only concern about sleeping in this is I'm going to start sweating and catch hypothermia <laughs> when I wake up. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're all wrapped up in everything else. Got everything else on. Got our boots, got our pants, got our mittens, got our jacket. Yeah, I think we're going to get the wrapped in skin achievement right about... Oh, T-minus. Now. There it is. Bam. Wrapped in furs. Haha. -ha. It came up on its own. I didn't have to do any editing. What, 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 what? <laughs> it's a pretty good way to end the uh, the series there. Um, wow. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And this is going to be kind of sad letting this series go because this was a tough... This is a really tough map to survive on. And uh, I just really uh, appreciate your guys' support. Uh, I'm really so sorry for what happened with uh, Hinterland and uh, Violet, inadvertently violating their trust like that. Um, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was bad for them and it's bad for you um, as viewers. It, it was really rough on me because uh, I just didn't really want to continue. Uh, I, f I just felt bad about it, you know. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah. Anyway, 
it was a really good series, really successful series. So we're just going to uh, let's just go ahead and head back. I'm probably actually warmer sleeping out there, probably in my bedroll. But uh, let's just go ahead and sleep out uh, here. Bring in the new day. She's going to go out. Here's the way the series is going to end. I'm going to, you know, basically fade to black. She's going to go out looking for some pancakes and some real 100% maple syrup. And uh, hopefully live happily ever after. So I uh, really, uh, really, really am excited about the story mode. If anything new develops as far as in the sandbox mode, I'll start a new series uh, implementing that uh, that new feature. Um if, if, you know, and I'm out of the loop now, so I have no idea what's uh, what's going on behind the scenes. But uh, should something new come up in the sandbox mode before story mode that's significant, I'll definitely jump back in and uh, and play. Why are we standing here? Let's go outside and admire the scenery. Um, do another life uh, using that. And, uh, and, you know, if not, then I'll see you guys in the, in the story mode. Uh, but, yeah, I'll go try some other survival games. Um, not sure what what direction will go in at the moment, but uh, those birds are gonna fly straight into the into the mountain, aren't they? Some things never change, people. Some things never change. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, hit the tip jar if you wouldn't mind. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you want to become a producer on the series for as little as one dollar per month, head on over to my Patreon page, patreoncom accurize 2 You guys uh, really. Uh, really 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 have been great so thank you and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, next series <laughs>